This is my latest project idea. You can see from the inset there it's a standard ESP8266 with a uh, micro SD card and an SHT 30D temperature shield or module. Uh, the wiring is uh, straightforward, it's the same as the video I did on the SHT30 shield and uh, just the addition of the SD card which is also in one of the earlier videos. The connections are all in parallel. It's a standalone unit, it uh, running on batteries, it can record temperature and humidity. You can view the graph which is what it's doing now, view the temperature and humidity as, as a gauge. I just click on gauge so you can see the current temperature, current humidity. Uh, you can go back to the graph mode. You can auto scale the graph. This is using uh, Google Charts and you can switch that on and off. So that's currently on both left and right axes, y axes you can increase so it's currently maximum of 30 degrees celsius you can increase the maximum 31 you can reduce it similarly at the bottom bottom end of the scale you can increase it i'll just increase that up to towards zero the default is minus five and you can bring it back down again So as I say, this is an autonomous data logger. Everything's coming off the ESP8266. It's a web server, standalone, uh, requires no external sites for data logging. Uh, the logging is done to the SD card. If the SD card isn't fitted, these the view log, erase log, and log size options don't get displayed and and the logging intervals can be changed. If I change the logging interval, it's now set to two minutes per reading or nine hours 36. If I do that again, it's now 14 hours. And if I increase the logging interval, the minimum I've set is one minute. We can set that anything you like in the source code. You can um, look at the log file size. It's currently 125.1 kilobytes. You can erase the log file and you can view the log file. And what I've done is stream that out to the screen. And um, there are all the all the readings. A typical reading is uh, a a log number, current temperature, current humidity and the date time the reading was taken. And if you look at the continuity of the of the log number, it goes down to 116 in that example and then I reset the device and it carried on counting from 1, 2, 3, 4. But note that the device is able to uh, record data to the SD card and then recover that and carry on where it left off. So the only discontinuity you'll get is there's an example where, and if you highlight the temperature or humidity plots, you do get the current temperature plot and the log number. So you can correlate that with the with viewing the log file is where I took it from one room to another. In fact, in that instance there, I took it and recompiled it to a different version. And there's a slight variation in room temperature. But the point is it can withstand a power outage and it will carry on logging. And it automatically refreshes there every 30 seconds. So that's about it. You can um, graph the data for however many hours and there's a there's currently 300 data points that it records um, I've actually set that so it's the last 24 hours but the the SD card can be as large as you like for, for data logging purposes self-contained unit running a, on its own power it could be sighted anywhere 
and you just connect to it via there's its current IP address 192.168.0.40 connect to it and um, analyze your data uh, no need to recompile anything all the parameters can be varied from this uh, top menu so scale max scale min auto scale left and right axes the right hand axis is humidity um, look at the log file erase the log file and start recording afresh view the log file so if I do that again just as an illustration if I select all this data I just copy I start Excel if I just paste special text everything now is in a separate column so it can be I'll just do a quick graph there graphed and there you go so you can take out the data from the logger graph it yourself or use the Google charts that are currently displaying the data so there you have it folks a an autonomous remote sensor and data logger all in one self-contained unit